you push back on uh, liberals with is I feel like they've really given up that ownership in a lot of ways of the American flag. And there's a lot of like weird guilt, I feel like associated with America and how it was, how it was created, which I get. Um, but I mean, definitely, I feel like more and more, and it's tough. Cause you don't like the people that like, if, when I talk to you, I don't get that vibe. So like, and I always try to, I always take that very seriously. Cause you're, I know a real person when we're having conversations, right. you're not putting on some bullshit because we're just having a real conversation. Um, so I, I do, I do question it because of that. But when I see like people who are liberal online, a lot of times it's like, or like if you ask them, for example, and I've seen shit like this where it's like, uh, do you, are you proud to be an American? It's like, you like, they won't they'll say no, say no. Like, how do you feel about the American flag? How so, do you feel about the American flag? No pride in it. Um, and I think a lot of, especially young liberals and also because they are politically motivated, I think. So they are exposed to the underbelly of it, not the, you know, patriotism spiel mm -hmm. that our parents got and we got for a lot of our life oh honest. man yeah so it wasn't until but, really the internet that breaks that down where yeah. you're no longer you can't you just can't lie because it's all right. out there i yeah. mean you can lie but i mean you know I, I, I'll, I'll respond personally yeah um but i'll push back a little bit first okay so we have deuce yeah who again shout out love you buddy but um uh, we have Communist. we have we have had our big disagreements mm -hmm. and we have gotten to the point to where I don't know if the Republican party or the, the extremists, mm -hmm. let's say are necessarily, she won't say he's Republican, but he's registered yeah. Democrat, but, <laughs> but Bo blue, no matter who. Yeah. But that's what do says, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we've had the argument where it's like, I remember I got mad at him over his like anti. And again, it's not that he was meaning to be like anti-American, Yeah. but there's a lot of speech that comes off where it's like, yo, yo what the fuck are you saying about us? Mm -hmm. And it's like, there's a way to be truthful. And mm -hmm. then there's a way to be malicious. Right. Sure. So, but it's the same on the left. And I'm saying that to say personally, now here's my personal feelings. I feel as if it's bullshit that the right took the American flag away from, mm -hmm. from the left. And it, it happened. So, by the we the people tattoos i mean there's an insurance company in venice called we the people it's not insurance my bad it's a fucking pediatric doctor <laughs> oh, called wow, we the people crazy. and it's like mm -hmm. we the people but y'all don't even pay attention to that first amendment at all yeah. outside of freedom of speech like you skip so much of it you skip the welfare part you skip all the amendments that we've added and you want to take and then we have a president uh, uh, a presidential uh, nominee on that side who wants to talk about rewriting the constitution changing the constitution to benefit who so there's a lot of that where it's like you're not as patriotic as you stand for as you say mm -hmm. and us on the left kind of feel as if like the freedom part the the open the doors part the what we've always felt again this is me personally what i've always loved about america is when i when i said the pledge of allegiance growing up and it was justice and liberty for all when you read the, the poem on the Statue of Liberty, she's talking about giving us your sick and your and your hurt and your needy and all that. And I've always taken pride in that we're the place in the world where, yes, we're accepting, we're loving. And although we have our differences, we understand the differences are part of being humans and we can get past that. And the flag was taken as like this side by side with a Trump flag. And that oh, it's okay. if you're well, not you that. yeah. When did because I want to ask when did you what do you think that they took appropriated the American flag? You said you, they took it away from the Democrats. So I'm I'm trying to think of a time where like patriotism was even like really a big thing for Democrats. before Obama got got elected. Before once Obama, Obama, I think once Obama got elected, okay. it it pissed enough of the radicals off. Yeah. And that was it. And again, that's where you get the Obama started racism. And it's like, no, <laughs> Obama didn't start putting dolls of himself hanging in trees. Yeah. He's not the one that called himself a Muslim terrorist. I mean, plus He's racism like, existed before Obama. It, it, way it's before. Insane to say. So it's just like, no, I think that it got loud. And then once Trump came in and it was, remember, he would all the American flags are his thing and look how American I am. And then none of his things were really build America. We, where were the factories? Where was his money going? All that. But then it would be I, outside that. Yeah. It's just that that became like the, the, the symbol. Yeah. So then I think it became kind of an anti-Trump kind of been like, well, we're not for that America. Remember the make America great again. Well, what do you mean? What, when was it great before black people had rights? Yeah. So then it became a defensive. Oh, well, remember America wasn't always great. And it's like, that's, that's wrong. 
and, and both sides have been doing that. And uh, but like me, my uncle, my my dad, my pappy, we have all talked about no fuck it, we're gonna start flying American flags for the left and say no, oh, yeah. we have this 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 love for what the constitution is, mm -hmm. for what this country represents, for what everything that we have been through, all the bullshit, all the wrong that this country has done, and then we the people have made it better, made it better, made it this this melting pot, this this form of utopia for people, right? To come and have these opportunities and we want it to be a better place. We want it to continue to grow. Mm -hmm. So again, I think that everybody kind of loves the country. Now there needs to be a, are you loving the country because you're born inside the border? Or are you loving the country because what we really stand for? Remember we're a country that left religious prosecution. And then we want to kind of want to push go, back on yeah, this, so we can have a, a little bit more of a push uh, back and forth before we get off here. Um, this is something that kind of comes to my mind. So when you think of, and this goes to your point, I think, but I, I want to push back yeah. with uh, how I think that the left has kind of given up that fight. Um, when you have these radical groups on the right, or you have these extremist groups on the right, so let's say Proud Boys. Um, I don't know, the electric boogaloo boys, <laughs> uh, all these people. Um, there's the one in American first mentality, I think is how they push back on you. Nationality. When you're saying, yeah, nationalism, nationalist, sure. Um, where you're saying, like, oh, they are not for America. Well, they would probably push back and say, like, I'm for America first. And where we're having a disagreement is I don't fuck with some of the things that America does because I don't think it's in America's best interest. So that's one thing I want to say on their behalf. But, um, and then this is something I, I take issue with a lot of these like uh, uh, liberal movements um, because a lot of them are based around kind of anti-American a little bit belief. So if like you think of like Black Lives Matter, a lot of that. And like I said, if you if you watched any like documentations or documentaries about like um, uh, some of the more rowdy um, uh, uh, demonstrations, I guess I would say. Um, it's a heavy anti-America instant. Like there's a shame in America. That, and then also by the way, and I'm gonna give it back right. to you, but like no. so LGBTQ, I think less so, but that's a little bit present there. Colin I think Kaepernick. So. You can go Colin Kaepernick and the kneeling. Okay, that's good. I I, 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 I think that was kind of like a big I forgot sure. to say that big discourse kind of like sure. tear. Sure, sure. Um damn, I had another one too that I'm I'm sorry. Oh no, you're good. Um what the fuck is it called from the left? The fucking uh anti-fascist. Antifa, Antifa. Um, so Antifa, I get a lot of that with them too. Like but I, where? But yeah. oh, real quick, sure. No, 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 no. You finish. I, no, I just don't uh, want to forget. No, everything. I want to have the conversation. Yeah. So Antifa, I don't understand where that ever. That's like, oh, Antifa is bad. It's like it's anti-fascism, which is literally what we are here. I mean, but he, that's what our entire yeah. con bill of rights and stuff sure. is. I'm talking about the sentiment of the people that follow it. And I'm just right. and off my experience, which is mostly like seeing people that are which, doing an again, interview on the internet. I'll ask so this so question. Who's the leader of Antifa? We've never, we've never, there's a leader of Proud Boys. We know who that is. Yeah. Right. There, there's a leader. There's always been a, a chapter leader or leaders of the Ku Klux Klan. We always know that. Who yeah. is this well, organization's well, leader? What, like, are you, what are you saying? I don't even think that there's my a bad. real, they're like a real, real organization. I think that there's, yeah. I think that's more of like a, I hate to say propaganda, but more of like a narrative, like a it's an ideology. So, I mean, I think that, but that an ideology isn't going to remove itself from being, no, it doesn't mean that it can't be anti-America because it really means that that's the perfect opportunity for it. I feel that now I will say again, yeah. was the civil rights movement where those people against America because they want a better. So yeah. I, I think, I think that we have a bill of rights. I think that we yeah. have a constitution. And again, that perception is one's reality. Sure. Okay. Um, so like with the Colin Kaepernick thing, yeah, there was a major perception, mm -hmm. uh, separation there. And I think a lot of that's pushed obviously through your media. Sure. So Colin Kaepernick, who originally, what did he do? He didn't kneel first. I think he didn't attend, right? Didn't like he walked out of the national anthem or something like sat that. Down. Sat down, sat down. Yeah. And then he talked to an army vet, a, a, a Marine vet or army, a military veteran who's like well-respected and he said, hey, we, I'd rather you kneel. We, we kneel when it comes to uh, like a fallen soldier. We kneel for this. Mm -hmm. Like, go ahead and kneel to show like you're respecting it, but you want yeah. to send a message. Mm -hmm. So he does that. That then ruffles all the feathers because it's being told to you via your media that this is him being this way. Instead of then that goes from instead of you listening to him. And again, we do this. I do this with Trump. Sure. Right. I, I see the, the 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 cut up and he said this. Why am I going to listen to his explanation after? That's just him trying to save face. Right. Mm -hmm. But with this, it was everyone trying to tell you 
that this is a police brutality is a real thing. And what killed me was that I grew up with all these people and I've been in this town my entire life and always right or left. The, the feeling towards cops have always been kind of the same where it's like, we don't know if we can trust them, especially in these small towns. We don't know how they go. We know that they break the law. We know that they're, that there's a lot of corrupt cops. There's a lot of good cops. We know all this. Yeah. So where through all this did not, I won't say half, but a portion of America say, no, you're wrong. And it, it seemed as if it was only the race part. So then you go, okay, well, it's, it, it's the, 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 the police officers fucked up when he arrested your uncle for drunk driving. Yeah. Right. When he arrests uncle Tommy for, for fucking driving drunk and having a little weed on him, but he's not wrong for shooting the guy who tells him, Hey, I have a gun on me. Here's my, here's my card for it. You told me to reach for my wallet. Let me reach for it. And then get six shots in his chest mm -hmm. because they're scared. So that conversation kind of, I don't know where all that becomes political. So then, yeah, Colin Kaepernick does his thing, all this. And then that's kind of where it's like bear against America and the flag, mm. which kind of once that happened, I think liberals and a lot of people kind of took that and said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of because you can't agree that that was where it was looking like how it came off. Mm -hmm. So I think that's kind of where a lot of it started to go. Yeah. But again, there's a, there's a nationalist view that us inside this border, if you're born here inside the square, then you are better than the rest. 